And what's the most important book you've ever read? You know what's interesting? I've only read two books in my whole life. Only two? In my life. I'm not a reader. Okay. I've never, I've, every single what thing. What are the two books? Every single thing I think I know, I've, I've learned through experience and conversations. I read two books because I was in a jail cell and they gave me books. So I was arrested. It was this. I was about 24. I'll tell you the story. Why not? I'm in a, in England. The English people are the most violent people in the world. Like they conquered the entire earth. They're the largest empire in history. English people are innately violent. People think like England. Oh yeah. Everyone's in suits. Little gentlemen go to England. Right. London's like stabbing capital of the world. Like it's a very violent place. And the English people will fight you over nothing. There's, they're not f- friendly or polite. They're very violent, especially when they drink. I'm at a club. I bought a brand new phone. Some girl knocked the phone out my hand. I thought her shoulder said, hey, you knocked my phone out my hand. She turns around and goes, I don't care. It's not my phone. Nah, nah, nah. So run in her mouth. So I'm arguing with this girl. And then her boyfriend comes over. And then her boyfriend's like, hey, what's the problem? I was like, well, she knocked my phone out my hand. I was trying to tell her, hey, you have a problem? Then his two friends come over. So now there's three of them and I'm up against the bar. And then one of them pushes me. So I smack him. Right? So I smack one, smack the other one. Two are out. The other guy grabs me. We start wrestling a bit. And while I'm wrestling with one of the guys, the girl, because she's English, starts trying to hit me. Right? So I didn't know if it was a girl or a guy. So I'm doing this. I turn and whack. And I smack her. I spark her. Right? So I end up in, in a court for GBH against a female and grievous bodily harm. And I broke her jaw and all this stuff. And my defense was, I didn't know who was hitting me. I'm just getting hit. I don't know. Watch the CCTV. I don't know. But anyway, I got away with it in the end. No, not got away with it. I was innocent. They found me innocent in the end. But anyway, the point was I was in a jail cell and they gave me two books and I can't even remember one of them. And one of them was about, I'd love, this is a challenge for the podcast. Can we give the podcast a challenge? Sure. Guys, in the comments, if you can find the name of this book, I would be really, really happy. It was extremely disappointing. It was about a UN negotiator, a female who lived in New York City, who was a UN negotiator, who was fired from being a UN negotiator because she made a terrible mistake. And they talk about this terrible mistake for the first 75% of the book, even though that the UN have now come back and need her back because she's the best negotiator, but she can't be officially on the books as a negotiator because of the terrible mistake. And she's like behind the scenes trying to negotiate. And it turns out the terrible mistake was she was negotiating peace between these two tribes in Africa and then slept with the tribal leader of one of the tribes. So I'm reading this book for like seven hours. And I get to the end and I go, so you're a, a, a doctorate from New York, UN negotiator who went to Africa to negotiate peace, and I'm getting slammed by a warlord who doesn't even speak English? You're a hoe. You're just a hoe. Like, who would do that? Who would sleep with this warlord? He's killed millions, of, he's killed people. He's a warlord, he's not gonna be charming. Is it a true story? I don't know what it is, I, I don't know, but he's not gonna be charming, is he? I can't imagine him having game. So she was a hoe and it annoyed me and I closed the book. That's the answer, <laughs> that's the answer. I got annoyed by her thoughtery. I thought this is disgusting. You need to go to church and repent. I won't read this book anymore. That's the only book I've ever read. All right. 